10 p.m., a uh, police officer pulled up to the crack house next door to my house and went over there. I thought as I was going into the crack house. As I uh, believed, uh, the police officer was there to do the right thing and address the uh, situation at the crack house. I went into the garage with a friend of mine. About 10 minutes later, the garage opened up a half foot or so, and in came a gun pointed to my head. No announcement that he was a police officer, but the officer's name, Jonathan Gloria Nail, came in the garage with a bulletproof suit on and a gun to my head. He then radioed in, I'm clear with the landlord. I corrected him, and then he said, uh, correction, lieutenant. And then he uh, continued to put a gun to my head for 30 minutes and demand something from me. When I wouldn't give him anything, he put a gun to my friend's head, uh, Melvin Holloman, and said he would kill him if I didn't give him what he wanted. This did occur. I'm a former sheriff deputy. I know it was a violent crime, but I was told by the review board that because he didn't use his gun to kill us, that it wasn't considered a violent crime. Uh, I tried to address, address the mayor's office, being that I had friends in politics and my family was a real estate, uh, had real estate business involving members of the White House in the past. So I thought I could get at least some message into the sheriff or the police, some way of dealing with this. But I got nowhere after several years, uh, or after a year. The other uh, chance I had to meet the mayor, the chief of police, was at the church on Broadway, and uh, it was about the uh, incident that took place in Florida with a young man that was gunned down by a vigilante uh, uh, person. Anyways, uh, what had taken place kind of horrified me and he had put a gun to uh, my friend's head and said he was going to kill him. Uh, very nervous right now. I kind of lost my train of thought. Other than I tried my best to uh, remedy the situation, being that I'm a former sheriff deputy and I know what the law is. Uh, one of my chain of commands, different people to talk to, uh, nobody was willing to hear me out or sit down except for lovely Warren. She sat down with me and my fiance, now wife, uh, and discussed it with us. But she did finally get somebody from Chief Shepherd's office to talk to us. But I understand that. Uh, it went nowhere. Um, I'm kind of shocked at the way business was conducted here. And uh, I had a prophecy given to me by God when I was in that church. And I said to the mayor, I said, this prophecy is for you. You're not going to be mayor next year if you don't, if you continue to take a blind eye towards the actions of the police in cases such as begging war. I said, forget about me. Don't forget about my friend that they were going to kill him. They Melvin Holland. This officer was going to kill him if I didn't give him something. And uh, he never made a police report. It took quite a bit of time to uh, get any uh, freedom of information back and everything to blank. So I believe uh, there has to be something done because I was, I was in a mission field for many years, and my heart goes towards my brothers in this community because I want to see the day when America can live up to the creed that says all people are created equal. And then I know that we are free. Thank you. Mama, I'm going to turn myself in. I said, good, because I don't want anybody to pick you up when you're with your 
child. Uh, so he turned himself in Sunday just past, uh, maybe about uh, 10, 30, 11 o'clock. And um, he went in, told the lady, or who was ever at the desk, I'm going to turn myself in, but I need to smoke a cigarette. Might have not been a good decision. He went out to smoke a cigarette, and as he did, he was assaulted from the back. Somebody jumped on his, one of the police officers jumped on his back, put the baton to his neck. And as he said, come on, dude, it ain't even that serious. And that's when they began to beat him. Uh, the next following day, he called, and uh, I took pictures. Um, I thank God that it wasn't as bad as it could have been. So uh, I just wanted to say what it is that did happen. I'm sure there's got to be a camera right outside in that uh, uh, public uh, parking lot. So all of this can be looked at because if it's wrong, then it's wrong. Right is right and wrong is wrong. And as I sat home today, God just played this on my heart. So I'd like to read this poem if it's okay with everybody. Because racism comes in all different colors. It comes in all different forms. And even as I'm nervous, I, I want to stand here and read this poem. Did you and, report this? Did have a piece of uh, My son went to court, and the uh, person that stands next to him, the defendant or whatever it is, knew that he's trying to say He knew the person, uh, not the lawyer, who does the court point to? David. Yep. That's a court point. Yes. He knew that my son had turned himself in. He said to the judge, he was turning himself in. But what happened to him? Is that report? <coughs> um, I don't think so. I don't think so. Because even when I went to Enough is Enough, which is one of the coalitions that I'm on, he feared for his life. Because if he stood there by himself and they jumped on him like that, he was turning himself in. And the next time a mother goes to her son and she says, do the right thing, my son is going to look at me and say, I did the right thing, and it didn't work out for me. Do you have any names of the police officers? No, but I have my son's name, and he's still going to court. They got him pronounced. What's his name? Holly Abrams. Abrams? Yes. And now they have him for resisting arrest. Mm -hmm. That's and that's not They beat you up, and they charge you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, um, racism comes in all different forms, all different. Racism never died, though it might have fell asleep. It woke up in our neighborhood, hoping to claim a defeat. It may not be using the water holes or lynching in the trees. Racism comes in many faces and forms. Perverted justice, Zimmermans, and police brutality. Now don't get me wrong, for I, this I also know. We have mistreated and we even killed each other. And that ain't the way to grow. So if I say I'm my brother's keeper, and I will love all that I can, and allow the officials, the police, or anybody to beat down a community, I am a poor likeness of a man. Then they came for me, for they came for me as an African. Then they came for me as a citizen. Then they came for me as a mother-to-be. And for those who stand by silently, they will come one day for you and me.